Let me pass along what I have learned from our friend Polo in terms of uh, DNS security. So the first part has to do with the simple one, which is a DNS sec security extension, DNSSEC. And you do that by going in your PFSense under Services, DNS Resolver, in general setting. All you need to do is check that box. And if the DNS Resolver you are using, like what night, which is the one we have to use, and uh, Cloudflare and, and many others, uh, support DNSSEC, eh, so good, you, 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 you get that level of protection. Rather than expending time in here, because I don't think that this is the most important thing for you to do, you can actually read this ICANN document that explains why DNS security extension it is, is important. This next level of protection, and I think that this is actually probably to me the most important one, is to prevent you from going into sites you are not supposed to. And we did a, a series of videos on, on, on Quad9. So if I try to, and I'm not going to go directly because I know this site is really bad, and I made a video on how I got my machine accidentally infected with that. If I do here NS lookup, and I try to go to this very bad site, and I'm not actually going there, I'm actually in the DNS resolution for it. Marco soft.hu my pfSense which is set up with quad9 and the setup of that is going to be shown in a, in a in a minute it tells me no I'm not gonna you really don't want to go there however if I do NS lookup and I want to show you and you use for example quad8 uh, Google's DNS resolver and you try to go to Maco, that horrible site, macosoft.hu, Google has no problem. It will resolve your address. You go to the site and you get infected. That's not a good thing. Even if you go to another popular, Cloudflare, and you go to macosoft.hu, it's going to send you there, that 185 address. But Quad9, which is what we have, what we have set up in our PFSend, when you try to go to that site, again, it's going to block you, as you saw before. So that protection is very, very important. How you do that, how you set that up, in PFSense. So let's actually go there to the configuration. Several things you need to do. One is uh, in here, you're going to click uh, enable forwarding mode and this is going to bring you to system general setup which we will we'll go in a minute. This SSL is for the last, the, the last part of this video which is giving you privacy on your queries being done on DNS by doing DNS over TLS. Now, if we, so that's one thing that we need to do. The other simple thing that we need to do is going as it's indicating here, system general setup. You can actually click here and it will uh, take you there. And notice that we put the two addresses of quad 9, 99999 and 149, 112, 112, 112. That's all you need to do. Make sure that you uncheck these two boxes. By doing that, your network at home will be protected from going into bad sites. This folks from quad 9 gets feeds from everybody about sites that are malicious and it will be protecting you from getting uh, going to sites that you really don't want to go. And the last part has to do with DNS over TLS. What this is is all about privacy. When you make queries on your home network today, even if you have PSN set up by default with all the default options, then all your queries are going to be visible to not only your DNS resolver, but, but, but it has to be, but anyone that can see your traffic going, this doesn't go encrypted, is what I'm trying to say. DNS does not use encryption by default at all. And particularly your ISP puts a router at home and they want to know everywhere that you go because they can sell that information to people that want to sell you something. They cannot see what you do when you go to that site because you have uh, SSL to protect you, but you know they know the sites that you actually went to. And you don't want that, at least I don't. Therefore, you select this option in here. Okay. 
I have done that and let me show you what the end result of it is. And notice that the DNS goes on port 53 by default, but when you do it over TLS, it goes on port 853. So I'm going to switch to my curator instance and I'm going to show you that I have this set up and I'm going to put a filter on port 53 and I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to cover the IP uh, of my home network here. So I'm here on my curator and you can download the free curator CE and, and, and do this uh, all these uh, investigations at home as I've shown in the, some of the videos of this series. But notice that in here, all my DNS requests and from all the folks here at home are going to where? Quad9. And these are the two addresses that you saw me set up on Quad9 before. What is the port? A53. And that's what I have that filter here in Curator. So you see all this activity and nobody can see where is it that I'm going. I, I have achieved some privacy. I'm going to make the video, keep this video short, but uh, I may even try to do uh, and play with the DNS analyzer and show you additional things that you can detect because this is not all the protection that you need. Uh, so for example, if something is going in your network to domain generated algorithm, all those long URLs that are definitely malicious, uh, you cannot detect that. So, and that's what the DNS analyzer will enable us to do. But let's uh, stop here.